Hello everybody, we are doing a playthrough for Dreaming Rabbids on Game Boy because not yet. Now on the show, it's not the entire minigame theme for every single version. The Game Boy version actually is not at all near it. And I will prove that to you guys with this horrible cutscene. Yeah, you know, it's the same as it used to be. He did act, of course. It's, still, it's like the original, but it's unlike the original. The original is all mini games and shit trying to help you escape. This one is not mini games. See? You have to run around, which makes it better. Uh, I think the other one was originally planned to be a run around, but. This one actually came out like a little while before the Wii one, I think. Yeah, that's not even how you're supposed to talk. But yeah, so we are playing the Game Boy version because I have no life. You can't do anything until you get the. Health. Oh yeah, health. The other one killed you. Shut up. I hate your new voice. Secret needs me. Yeah, this version is. A lot better than the Wii version in my opinion. I don't know why, it just is. I actually even want like the Game Boy version than the Wii or or better than the Wii. And the game is actually good. You can actually charge your fist up pretty good. I think the, the third one is in blue. I'm not sure though. So, <laughs> and yes, the enemies are easier to this version, of course. Better be. <laughs> this is actually one of the last Game Boy games to be released before they stopped that system completely, which I think is a really sad thing. Uh, I know there's new systems to replace the DS and Wii, but. Uh, when Game Boy and GameCube lost style and were discontinued, that was just horrible for me, I don't know why. Actually, I wouldn't mind systems like that, but, uh, you know. I killed him. Somehow I killed him. That was stupid. I just did it for him. I don't know what the rebels do. The rebels are health. Okay, I guess I remember this game. I think it worked the lobes, but I'm not sure. This is a room. Yes, there are, there are cages in this game. This was pretty much, like, pretty much they couldn't make mini games for a Game Boy version of Rainy Rabbids. Uh, instead, they just pretty much used a lot of, uh, things from Rayman 2. And, yeah. So, they have different enemies, different levels, of course. And instead of lobs, they're just balls. Jeez, grab onto it. No! Grab onto it. Go onto here. Oh, you idiot. This pisses you off. Like the arm piss off the piss off. That's an extra life, okay. 
cool. Yeah, the Game Boy version was much better than the Wii version, in my opinion. I don't care what anyone says. Graphics, of course, are horrible, but... It's just the gameplay is what people actually wanted when they bought the game. It was cheaper, too, but... Yeah, if you manage to find this game, I really can't suggest buying it. Why have it as red? It's gonna go forever if you get red. Oh, you guys don't know yet. There. As you can see, it's a piece of shit for some points, but in others it's pretty good because it's just I think I was just ranting on about the same thing. You guys the idea by now? I have to do all everywhere, but yeah. He even uses the original sound effect, he's not awesome. Is it awesome for that? Can't get out. What have I done? That's when you don't see the actual games, but okay. I agree, I want to shut this. boss. But it's only a first one, so. And yes, uh, this game will alter between bosses. Uh, this guy, and then it'll go to this little pink dude here, and it'll tell us to roll out two times. And then it'll have like that big, um, Dark Vader type dude from the Wii version. Crap. Okay, I'll see. I've been describing the game before since it was LP. I see how his health it works. Okay. Okay, I see how it works. It's been a while since I played this game. I'm sorry. Yeah, I meant for the game for you. It's pretty impossible. That's actually a little bit easier on GameCube. Next episode we will continue. Thanks for watching.